So this video is mainly going out to my newer subscribers because some of my newer subs probably don't really realize that my channel actually used to be called Random Ryan. And this is kind of tying into the reason why I've been uploading some random videos. Um, so back a while ago, I made a video describing why I changed my channel name. If you haven't seen that, you can go ahead and click the link up here. Um, back before I started doing, uh, sort of started focusing more on horticultural related things, uh, I, was I was just uploading all kinds of different videos. Uh, they were very random. That's why I called myself Random Rhyme. That's why the channel was named that. And there was videos from A to Z. It was experimental stuff. It was, I guess, maybe some pet related stuff. It was just all kinds of things and it had no central focus. And maybe that works out for some people, but uh, I wanted to start making money off of YouTube and this has kind of started to become my second job. So in order to do that, you, when you upload content, you really need to be, um, you need to be focused more on one subject. Uh, everything has to be consistent or you just don't really gain any subscribers. Um, so I didn't really intend on making a lot of money on this channel and I really don't make a lot of money. Uh, but in order to make money on YouTube, you got to play the game. You got to upload at least once a week. Um, if you don't, if you don't focus on creating content and you don't focus in, on uploading at least weekly or bi-weekly, your channel doesn't really become very searchable. So people aren't going to see it. So it's not really for the sake of views that I would upload uh, once or twice a week. It's more for uh, just to keep the channel alive. And anyone who makes money off of YouTube kind of understands that. But what I wanted to talk about more so in this video is uh, why I've been uploading some random videos. So obviously uh, back when I made the video that kind of talked about why I changed my channel name. One of the things I said in the video was I'm still going to upload random content every now and then just depending on how I feel. And focusing on the word how I, or focusing on the phrase how I feel. Um, so I've been uploading like stuff like paragliding videos, which is something I started doing about a year ago. And I've been uploading other stuff like the re last video I think I did, um, might have been a flashlight video, um, and maybe some other stuff. Uh, but stuff to do with my fish tank, um, I should say my aquariums, things like that. So I am going to continue uploading uh, like random content like that, but it's not the main focus of this channel. On Sundays, my focus on Sundays, or maybe Mondays if I'm late to it, um, I will upload my normal content. So anything to do with horticultural stuff, grow light reviews, um, experimental stuff with uh, plants, uh, anything to do with that kind of stuff. And Thursdays, maybe Wednesdays, depending on when I get to it, I will be uploading, um, like I have been, kind of my random content. So that's the day I would of the week I would reserve for that kind of stuff. It doesn't mean I'm going to continually do that on Thursdays. It just means that that's the day I'm going to do it. Um, so that will get me kind of like a one to two uploads per week uh, on the channel. Now, as far as what I'm going to be uploading randomly, uh, it's just pretty much what you've been seeing. Just random stuff. Uh, and the reason why I do that is just, it's kind of like passion videos in a sense. It's kind of answering questions for myself and sharing with everybody else uh, and just something I want to do. So the videos I would do on like Sundays or, or maybe Mondays if I'm late to it uh, will be, uh, you know, it's horticulture related stuff, but I don't necessarily want to be creating those videos. Uh, that's the point of a channel where it actually is work. Uh, so I do like sharing information with everybody uh, on my own findings, and you can't just upload a video once a year and say, "Oh, look, you know, this is good." This, you know, whatever. You can't just you can't do that. So, in order to make any money off of YouTube, you kind of have to play that game, and it's a job. It really is because it does take a lot of my time. Uh, I spend sometimes a half a day to a day making a certain video. Other videos might only take me ten minutes to do. It just depends on what it is. Uh, it depends on how much time and effort I, I want to put into it. And it doesn't really, it doesn't really take up a lot of my time in the long run. It's just per day, and I work a lot on my normal job, six days a week, and um, usually about 54 hours per week. So I don't have a lot of time to do other things. So I, it really does feel like a second job on, on YouTube as far as creating content. It doesn't mean that I don't like doing the experiments. I, I really, 
I like doing the stuff when it's when it's horticulture related things like testing grow lights and seeing how plants grow stuff like that. I would still do that stuff even if I wasn't making videos doing it. When you're ten, when you're making a video doing it at the same time, it becomes work. And that doesn't mean my channel is going to be changing. It's not like I'm going to be uploading any less or doing any less on YouTube. It just means that um, I do have a passion for it and I, I'm going to continue to do it. And I think what's going to end up happening with this channel, since I've been getting a lot of different grow lights, is I'm going to be testing grow lights specifically. Uh, so I've done a bunch of different experiments, aerating water, uh, testing proximity of grow lights, seeing if you can grow like watermelons uh, using a very low wattage. Um, there's all kinds of different stuff I've been experimenting with, and there's only so much you can do with all that before it starts getting kind of redundant and it kind of pointless and maybe entertaining in a sense, but there's not really a lot of, there's not really a huge crowd that is entertained by growing plants. Um, most people who do searches for channels like this are looking for answers, which is why I named it Growing Answers. Growing stuff to figure out answers for myself and for everybody else. It's not really an entertainment channel where I'm just smashing things and, and recording it and you know it's just being consistent with that type of content and millions of people subscribe to it and watch that stuff because it's entertaining. So unfortunately, I can't, I can't be quite as entertaining as, as those kind of channels, but what I can do is just continue to provide uh, answers to questions that I have and everybody else has when it comes to horticultural related things. So the focus is gonna become, I think, uh, once I kind of wear out the other experiments that you can do, uh, I'm gonna probably end up doing just testing grow lights. So I'm gonna do side-by-side -side comparisons of uh, different types of grow lights. and. In other videos I've tested um, like the red blue grow lights versus white grow lights and I'm still doing it. I actually have another series coming up with that uh, testing the I think it's the max bloom uh, versus a high bay. Uh, that's coming up soon. That will be probably in the next week or two I think. But as far as what it's going to continue doing with my channel is it's going to become more so like white grow lights versus white grow lights, white LED grow lights. Uh, because what I'm finding through all of my testing anyways is just that it doesn't really seem really great to try to like tune your, the spectrum to like specifically like red and blue lights when you can use a white grow light and it seems to, no matter what kind it is, seems to do better than any one of those higher end, highly tuned grow lights that are all different colors. So that's going to be the focus and we're not, it's not really going to be like setups where it's kind of like apples to apples kind of thing. It's just going to be grow light versus grow light. So even though it's not going to be like, you know, um, diffuse light versus diffuse, diffuse light in the same exact uh, housing and all this stuff, uh, it's going to be more so just looking at what grow light does better, simply put. So. I hope that answers some of the questions people have been probably having why I've been uploading some kind of random stuff in my channel. And um, I think that pretty much answers it. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. I'll get to them. And thanks for watching.